Hey, what's going on everybody? Movie Phantom here, and yes, it's Friday, and it's time for that question of the week. I am answering uh, the 13th Wolfman's question of the week, and uh, missed last week, so I'm doubling up tonight. Uh, last week, his question was, let's see if I remember, yeah, um, he was, you know, Hammer kind of made a, a, a slight comeback recently, and, uh, you know, Woman in Black, and uh, Let Me In, and they did something else, I know they did, I can't think of right now, but... Uh, his question was, what direction would you like to see Hammer going right now? Like, you know, and for me personally, because I know he said something like he didn't really want to see him remake, you know, Dracula or, you know, the other Universal movies that they already you know, remade. I won't disagree. I, I'm not saying remake them, which I know I'm now sounding like a douchey producer. We're like, we're not remaking it. We're rebooting it. There's a difference. There's no difference. But... Maybe give it a continue it, like almost. I mean, I guess you can, you're sort of rebooting it because you're setting it in modern days, but you know, acknowledge that you know they're picking up from the old series. So I would love to see Dracula, you know, another Dracula, you know, today. Keep it gothic though. I mean, that's a thing that because um, even the Hammer ones that took place uh, in modern day. I know uh, Satanic Rites of Dracula and Dracula AD seven or, or nineteen seventy two AD, something like that. They all, you know, they were modern day, but they had that gothic feel. And I think that's one thing that Hammer's really, uh, even their you know, recent pictures, they've all kept that gothic feel, that gothic, uh, the tones, the, you know, the atmosphere is very gothic. And I love that. And that's something that the old school Hammer, you know, did very well. So I would love to see another uh, Frankenstein. Maybe have Frankenstein's, uh, I guess, grandson, great-grandson, I don't know. Uh, someone in the bloodline, you know, pick it back up and the student of Frankenstein. I would love to see, you know, Curse of the Werewolf. Another mummy movie. I mean, let's just let's go let's just raid the back catalog for Hammer. I would love it. And but don't stop doing what they're doing now. Like keep, you know, making fresh and you know, original stuff as well. But yeah, I would love to see him, you know, hit up some other stuff. Uh like I said, really just keep the same direction they always have. But yeah, just make it more modern day, I guess. So that's my question, you know, from last week. Uh, now this week, apparently, uh, Rob Zombie's been talking about uh, he wants to do a sequel to Devil's Rejects. Uh, so he was at and 13 Wolfman asked, you know, do we really want to see a sequel? Would we want to see a sequel or a prequel or anything else like that? <sighs> Overall, I'm gonna say no. Like honestly, Devil's Rejects is like a, like one of the best movies of all time. Like it just it's a perfect fucking movie. There's no reason to you know because like you said. And this is, the, you know, I guess the thought of a lot of fans' minds even is like, you know, it ended. Like, it had a very conclusive end. I don't want, like, I didn't play the video game, but I was told that the uh, Scarface video game, like, it starts with him, like, after he got shot up, you know, and he falls into the fountain or whatever. It just starts with, like, him raising up and then, like, going, to, and, like, really? That's the most ridiculous fucking you know, thing I ever heard. I wouldn't want that, like, somehow, like, the cops go to the car that, you know, and they're just like, Oh, we're not dead, and they start shooting. By the way, no, I don't want to see that. Now I will say, if Rob Zombie just says "fuck it" and goes with it, he's just like, well, "I'm doing it anyways." I would not really want to see a sequel per se, but maybe like a—I hate to keep using the word like a reboot, but like, like almost like a Devil's Rejects Next Generation. I mean, let's face it, they're whores. Like every one of them was fucking around and shit. So I guarantee there's some offspring. There's some fire, you know, fly clan offspring out there so i would like to see like maybe the next group you know because i mean it took place in the 70s or whatnot so let's see what that group's up to you know 80s or 90s or whatever as they grow up and uh yeah let's just take it in a different direction altogether. now i'm sure the fans it's one of those things where i think fans don't want to see a sequel but at the same time no matter what you would give them they would hate it any, like no matter what uh, or even the ones who wanted a sequel they're like oh i'll see a sequel and then whatever you give them they're gonna be like well i'm stupid i wouldn't want to do that but, uh, no, I, I think that's the best way to go, is literally, let's, uh, you know, let's do the next generation, if you will. Uh, which I know it sounds cheesy. Once again, I'm against it. Like, I, I, my initial thing is just no. But if he's going to, you know, let's pass the legacy on. Uh, now, I know he wants to put his wife and everything. That's cool. I, I, I'm one of the guys who agree. I'm, I'm cool with that. Like, I, I like Sherry Moon's zombie in, in his movies. I think she's a, a decent actress. I really do. I don't think she's that bad. Everybody wants to shit all over her performances. I thought... Uh, Lord of Salem, she did an excellent job. Like she carried that fucking movie. I mean, so 
absolutely, you know, put him back in there. You can have him in flashbacks. You can have him, you know, in whatever capacity. I mean, he'll, he'll figure something out. But, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to see, like, a strap sequel where they, you know, somehow survive the fucking onslaught of, uh, uh, onslaught of bullets and a car crash that would inevitably follow that. So, I would like to see, you know, like a next generation, I guess I'd say. Um, so, yeah. That's, and then his, he had kind of a follow-up question was, are you looking forward to 31? With Rob Zombie, I'm, a, I'm pretty much a huge fan. I'm not going to lie. Now, I know we've already discussed this. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll backtrack here. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, I really liked. Uh, I will agree with you. It was just basically directing-wise. I feel like with Rob Zombie, his movies... The direction gets better. Now, I'm not saying the story will, because I do think Devil's Rejects is his best movie. Now, it's his second feature. But direction-wise, oh, it gets so much better. Like, So, I don't fault him too much for uh, House of Thousand Corpses. I feel like you know he, he was a, a rookie director. He was just seeing what worked. And once again, he had a background in directing music videos anyway. So, I, I mean, I, I figure he just kind of took what he had from there and carried it over. Uh, and then he learned from that. So when you see, you know, Devil's Reject, which I, once again, you know, one of the best movies ever. Anyway, I mean, I'm talking all time. Like, I'm a huge fan of Devil's Rejects. Um, yeah, I think, you know, the direction got a lot better. And once again, I mean, it was, he had to get creative because once again, I mean, though, I don't know what, you know, House of Dog Corpses did money-wise or, you know, anything like that. But, I mean, it did, it did have a cult following at the time. So, I mean, people were looking forward to, you know, the sequel, a pseudo-sequel, if you will. Uh... So yeah, no, I mean, so he, he changed it up. He, he definitely changed the style around completely, and I liked it. Uh, Halloween, I know you said you weren't a big fan of. I liked Halloween. I was, I, I really did. Uh, I'll admit there was no need for a remake. I mean, but it, it was happening once again. Just like with Devil's Rejects uh, sequel, there's no need for a sequel. But if it does happen, you know, fuck it, let's just watch it and see what what he does. Uh, I did like it. Um, you know, and once again, I thought the direction was really good there. Um, Halloween 2 is my least favorite of that of the, the four first four. Uh, just because, I don't know, I mean, to me, I, I always think he, he's a great director. I don't care for his writing, and that's one of the best examples. I mean, just characters yelling fuck like 30 times in a row. And I'm not approved by any means. Shit, I cuss on this show all the time, but to me, it just, it just seemed ridiculous. And the fact that he just did it once, he did it twice, and I was like, really? Um... Yeah, but the direction, fucking brilliant. The last scene of that movie was beautifully shot. Just that, you know, her in the mental institution, and then there's like a long white hallway, he, and she sees, you know, the fucking mom and uh, young Michael Myers and everything on the other side, and just kind of close up on her. Dude, I love that. Uh, oh, I guess I forgot uh, the Haunted World of El Super Beast, though, which I don't like. It's a... Uh, it's silly fun. I, you know, you can't even really compare that with his other movies just because it's like, it's a cartoon for one, and for, you know, two, it's like clearly it's, it is what it is. It's just a goofy cartoon. It's a, 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 a cartoon for adults, so uh, I, I liked it. Uh, I will say the first time I watched it, I was kind of like, oh, I was hoping for more. Uh, but at, at, after reviewing it a couple more times, I liked it. It's not bad. Uh, but then Lords of Salem, uh, I've said this numerous times, in fact, I forget why I brought it up before, but I brought it up recently, but, uh, I think that movie, once again, it was perfect. It was so fucking good. I love the slow building tension, and then it just builds up to nothing, and I just feel like that last 20 minutes or so was just retarded. And, once again, his direction was fucking brilliant. He was doing, he, I, I was, again, everybody kept comparing him to Polanski. I saw more Kubrick in his direction this time around. But regardless, at the end, it's like he went right back to House of Thousand Corpses and does this weird, like, psychedelic freak-out bullshit. And I was like, what the fuck? And I, I don't care. It, to me, it just, I don't know. I need to maybe watch it again. Uh, but I'll just say right now, it has, and, it, and that, for some reason, as much as I praise that first half, Dude, the ending left such a bad taste in my mouth that it just shoots down to the bottom of the list. Like, I'd much rather watch Halloween 2 again than Lords of Salem. Because uh, once again, it's like Lords of Salem. It's like, yeah, it's so good. But with movies that are slow going, there's usually a payoff there. Like, I can sit through the first 45 minutes of Alien, no problem, because I know it's building to something great. Whereas Lords of Salem doesn't build to shit. So who gives a fuck? I'm done with it. So, uh, but direction? Perfect. Except for, the last, like I said, except for the last 20 minutes. So, I feel like 31, I'm sure the direction will fucking kick ass. 
Story can be hit or miss. I don't know. I feel like the story is like a cross between The Purge and The Running Man, just from what I understand. Like, from what I read from the little blurb they gave me on the... Uh, like the side she read or whatever. And so, I mean, with that, you know, I'm like, well, I mean, I'm still in. I mean, Carney's getting slaughtered and hunted. What's not to like? Let's just check it out. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to 31. Like I said, Rob Zombie's one of those guys that no matter what he pumps out, I'll definitely check it out for a while. Um, now, I always said the same thing about M. Night Shyamalan. I was like, I'll watch anything that guy does. And then I didn't see Last Airbender, and then I didn't watch uh, After Earth. So, I will never say never. Maybe I'll get to the point where Rob Zombie's just going to start doing shit from here on out, and then I, I will back out. But for right now, his name is still a draw for me. Like, you know, so I'll still check it out. I do kind of hate the fact that, especially with Lords of Salem, like, he's regulated to, like, I don't know. It's like with Halloween, it was like, oh, yeah, here you go. Here's your money for Halloween, too. No problem. And he was, you know, it was his name alone that could, you know, that sold Halloween, too. But then. When uh, Lord of the Seven came out, it was almost like his name took a backseat to the fact that it was from the producers of Insidious and Sinister or whatever, you know. And I was just like, oh, really? Like, I hate that because it's just like, he's fucking Rob Zombie. Like, his name alone should be enough to push it. But it was almost like they were highlighting the producers more than they were him. So, ah, I didn't like that. So, uh, of course, he's crowdfunding this one. So, he'll be able to push it himself, I guess. But uh, So, yeah, there you go, my man. There's your uh, three questions answered, I guess. So... My man, keep up the good work. I'm enjoying the sit down. Uh, I really, this last one I thought was the best. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm actually going to watch one of your videos here in a second. I'm going to watch your compound fractured thing. So, everybody out there, I'm sure if you're watching my video, you are already subscribed to him. But in case you're not, 13th Wolf Man, check him out. I mean, good guy, knows his shit. Like, this guy knows his movies hardcore. So, I mean, check it out. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, until next time.